So welcome back to Changzhou Olympic Sports Center. It's day two of competition here at the Victor China Open. Six matches completed and next up, we've got men's singles. And a first look at the number two seed, the former champion, Anthony Sini Super Yintin. He's also the reigning Asian champion and Olympic bronze medalist, won this title five years ago and beaten finalist at the last edition. He's up against Kanta Sugiyama of Japan. Well, as far as the men's single draw is concerned, of course, this is the bottom quarter of the draw. Uh, two Chinese players have come through in this section, including the All England champion, Li Shi Feng. If you were with us earlier, you will have enjoyed Li Chuck Yu's thrilling match against the left handed Chao Chung Peng at a match point. Incidentally, in that second game, Shuttle landed, appeared to be in, but he had no challenges left, and therefore he was sent the full distance to a third and deciding game. So, the last match in this section to decide who progresses through to the second round. Anthony Sini Ginting of Indonesia up against Kanta Suniyama of Japan. Sad in the men's singles that we lost the newly crowned world champion before play got underway. Kunwood Widisan, the number three seed, withdrew before the start of play. And so did former world number one Kidambi Shrikans. But here, the players for our next match, Kanta Suniyama and Anthony Sinisuka Ginti. This will be an eighth meeting between these two players, and of the previous seven, Kanta Suniyama has actually won four of them, including the last time, which was in the first round of the Japan Open earlier this year, 21-13, 21-18, in 44 minutes. So Anthony Sinisuka Ginti has won the toss of the coin and has chosen ends to start this near side of the court. Well, interestingly, all seven previous encounters between these two players in two straight games. So winning the opening game could be very important. We've also taken turns at winning, and uh, it's Ginting's turn this time. <laughs> <laughs> if only it was as simple as that, yeah. Steve. And to Suniyama, 27 years of age from Saga Prefecture in Western Honshu. Uh, five foot eight. And currently number 17 on the world ranking, but did spend a total of 16 weeks across two different spells at a career high of 10. Fourth time playing here in Changzhou, and he's twice been a quarter finalist, including at the last edition when he lost the eventual champion, Momota, having beaten Victor Axelsen in the very first round. Anthony Sinusuka Ginting will turn 27 next month. He was born in Chimahi, west of Bangdung in West Java, enjoying his 23rd week in total as a world number two, his second spell. And he's had great success at this particular venue in Changzhou. He was winner, as I was telling you, in 2018, beating Kenta Momota having beaten Lin Dan in the first round, Victor Axelson in the second round, Chen Long, former Olympic champion, in the quarter-final, and Chotian Chen in the semi-final. Now, if that's not a good set of results, I don't know what is. Thoroughly deserved the title. Last edition, he reached the final, losing out to the then world number one, Kento Momota. Huang Datan of India is our umpire for this one. And Guo Wei Liang, our service judge from China. Well, 
the last time they met in Japan earlier this year, as we were telling you, of course, uh, this man would have had all the home support when they met in the first round of the Japan Open. And at the time, Anthony Sinusuka Ginting's mother was desperately ill. And all of us in the badminton community send our condolences to Anthony Ginting. Lovely to see Ladies him back on court. On the right, Anthony Sinusuka Ginting, Indonesia. And on my left, Kanda Suneyama, Japan. Anthony Sinisuka Ginting to serve. Love or play. So the former champion and two time finalist, Anthony Sinisuka Ginting, getting his first round match underway against Kanta Suneyama. One. Love. Go, love. Well, when we talk about this man's qualities, I don't know where to start, Steve. <laughs> I mean, he's got great movement, he's got great skills. Is there anything where he's lacking? Not really. Um, no, it depends on where you where you put the um, the bar, so to speak. Um, but um, he, he's a really really strong player, and he, he fits the um, the work description for doing well in this tournament. Perfect, a player that is light-footed, not too uh, not too heavy. Good net game and good attacking game, and um, he fits all of those. Love. Yeah. And Sunyama, well, he, I, I was going to say he doesn't have the speed of Ginty. I think, he's, 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 I think there's probably one, only one other player that's as quick as him, and that's Lokin Yu. Yeah. Um, but he's still reasonably quick on his feet. Um, not too heavy. He always looks a little Quite bit laboured in his movement. Yeah. Me, so. <laughs> He's working hard and, and when he plays his best he, he can uh, maintain uh, a lot of constant pressure on his opponent. But but his attack um, not as, as strong as, as uh, Ginting's. Good defence though and that's perhaps one of the um, things that you can point to with Ginting that Normally he's not too much in defense, but when he is in defense, then his movements are not as, I mean, he's speedier One, in the attack than in defense. Most most players are, but but uh, his defensive movements doesn't really match his offensive uh, movements. That's fascinating. I know exactly what you mean. That's good. Because, because I, he I got a little bit up. in doubt with myself. No, yeah. but he follows up well. If he hits yes. a good attacking shot, he follows up so quickly. But if you have to move several shots under pressure, then it's a little bit more uh, difficult. Yeah. Away with backhand there from Ginting. So it's over. Six, one. Where a player um, uh, uh, like um, Kodai Naroka is super quick in his defensive movement as well, in my opinion. But I don't think he's as quick as uh, in his uh, attacking play. No, not at all. No. Not at all. Yeah. I, I think that's a, a great uh, analysis there, Steve, yeah, that, yeah, you yeah. know, it's not just a question of being quick, whether it's quick in attacking play or whether uh, it's quick in defensive situation. play. It's, it makes a big difference. Yeah. You're absolutely right. And that's the same about shot quality. Got to have like three different heights measuring it in. Seven, one. I think, yeah, come on. Yeah, just not quite able to reach it. Now on the question mark is how much has he been able to practice um, hinting? Yeah. A lot of. Um, and, and quality Eight, practice, one. because yeah. when your mind is 
is elsewhere when you've had uh, a terrible personal loss and family bereavement. I mean, how do you focus on, on training it and practice? It becomes sort of irrelevant in the big picture. It becomes totally things. irrelevant. Yeah. And even if he had practice, who, who has he been able to practice with? Because a lot of his peers have been away for the uh, World Championships. Yeah, absolutely. So it would be reasonable to expect some adjustment time for him here. Uh, the question marks in my mind regarding Tsuniyama is that uh, <laughs> uh, ever since the Olympic qualification started, well, it's looked a little bit uh, bleak for actually both him and, and uh, his compatriot. In my opinion, he's fighting for Olympic qualification against uh, Kenta Nishimoto. First challenge, I think, here. Oh, no, he's not challenging. Sorry, Steve. Yeah, but um, I, I just feel that they're, they're battling it out. Um, last Olympics on home soil, <coughs> Sunyama won that battle and, and um, got... Um, qualified alongside Kenta Momota here I think it's it's a question mark who's going to qualify alongside uh, alongside Kodai Naroka that's gone long off the back line so it's over nine three well I was telling you this man has twice made the quarterfinal here in Changzhou and the last time he was here, which was the last time the Changzhou China Open happened, I told you that he lost to Momoto in the quarterfinal, but who did he beat in the first round? Victor Axelson. Yeah. So both these players have beaten Victor Axelson here in this very arena. Ten, three. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to, to follow him because I, I feel that we've seen in the first two days here there's quite warm in the arena and we're seeing a lot of mopping a lot of perspiration which um, tends to affect the, the heavier players a little bit extra because the mental power they have to break um, in the men's singles is, is bigger so it's over Ball. Then. That's why I feel the lighter and light-footed players, they might have an advantage in the men's singles in this tournament here. That's a good lift. Oh, it's just long. So 11-4, the advantage. Four for Kanto Sunayama in the mid-game interval of the opening game. Just seven minutes into the match. Five, 
Well, yeah. That's a great shot. From Ginting there, straight Six, down the line. 11. Not all full power, but uh, beautiful placement. So often more effective, isn't it? Oh! Go. So it's over. 12, 6. Oh, that's a de absolutely delightful backhand. Yeah. That's right. Seven, one. Some of the things that he's looking for, it's sort of that that looked like a, a shot that was played uh, out of joy. I mean, the, the feeling of the the racket hitting the shot exactly the right way. You can hear the slice in it and so on. So sometimes when you play, even though you have. Um, considerations of problems outside of court whether it's a competition or or just a recreational game and you tend to forget your worries outside that's what badminton is also capable of but yeah. but it takes something to get you in that zone a particularly good rally a beautiful shot or um, a, a close game that you want to win where you sort of forget what's outside of that little green square well, there's a challenge here. Challenges called in. Challenge really wide. Correction out. Nine, twelve. That's a good smash from Suniyama. So it's over. 13, 9. Well, he's made inroads since the mid-game interval, has Ginting. No doubt about it. Yeah, he was waiting for the push down the forehand side with Suniyama. Mm. It was too flat and too short as well from Ginting. Next point,
playing 16, well. Nine. Yeah. One final this year for Suniyama. That was the Spain Masters when he lost to his teammate Nishimoto. There is three finals this year for Ginting, including two titles, those Asian Championships in Dubai. There's that beautiful back of the game. That's absolutely so delightful. And his second consecutive 16. Singapore Open. Yeah. We haven't seen that um, same speed yet in this match here uh, as he displayed. So it's over. Earlier on, 17, especially in Singapore and Indonesia. It's too little too late in this opening game. strength in, in windy so conditions so um, Anthony Ginting yep. that he has this speed both uh, following up from attack but also moving backwards from getting the lift um, from from uh, a number of times his brilliant net game yeah. he's so quick in his backwards movements and and we haven't really seen a lot of it um, so far here so he's got two uh, to find something more. 19, 11. Yeah, that's just lack of touch at the moment from Ginting. Uh, was there earlier enough? Early enough. Oh. 20, game point. Well, it was an ambitious shot to try from Ginting. His first cross-court net shot worked, his second didn't. So game point opportunities for Kanta Suniyama. Opening game, 21-11 to the Japanese player, Kanta Suniyama. Beautiful smash. Straight down the line. ロビングとか。<笑> ネット近い位置はロビングとコンセントを奪うじゃん。スピンの場合。長めにするとさ、平行なんだ、平行に。そしたらどこどこまで関係ないから。だからこういうとこ飛ばして、ここだよ。こういうとこ飛ばした方が
Second game, love or play. So the unseeded Kanta Suniyama won game to the good against the number two seed and former champion Anthony Sunisuka Ginti. So it's over. One love. I think, Steen, we can talk about tactics and. Uh, as much as we want. Yeah. I think it's sort of irrelevant, in all honesty. It all depends on Anthony Sinisuka Ginting's mindset and um, so you know, uh, whatever it is, it's acceptable. I think it is. Uh, and, and yeah, I got the feeling that uh, he's playing, but if he had a choice, he'd probably rather not. Yeah. And I suppose you've got to start somewhere. Yeah. That's gone wide. And one thing I know about Anthony Ginting, so you shouldn't so write him off at any stage. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> not at all. I think that that's what we're seeing, that, that he's sort of like, he's doing the best he can, trying to stay in there, hope that... Um, it will turn out to be enough. So I'm so over. So it's over. Three, all. Bit of a reverse slice on that final shot. From so it's over. Full R. Just watch the racket head here as he comes forward. Look at that. Wipe the court, please. Wipe the court. Five, four. Yeah. 
With his title of this man's career, Sugiyama was undoubtedly the French Open back in 2021. That was a Super 750 event. Beat Chorty and Chen in the final in Paris. Six, five. Yeah, that was a fantastic field tournament you had there. It was. Beat Momoto, was it the semi final? I think it was. It Seven, certainly five. beat Momoto at one stage because Momoto actually retired in the match, and because it was two Japanese players. He lost That's his right. ranking points. That's right, and he, it, took, it took a while for him to do it. He was considering it. Yes. Because he was really, um, he was really hurt. He was in extreme physical distress yeah. with his bad back, and so his bad back has never really recovered. No, he's withdrawn from the Asian Games. Uh, yeah. I just um, read due to back injury. Oh, good reactions from Ginting. All. It's difficult for Sunyama if he's not in control of the race. Ooh. Service error from Ginzi. So it's over. Yeah. Eight, seven. Another indication that he's not entirely focused into this match. Defense there. Played it beautifully. Oh, that's a nice backhand too. Well left. It's like when the uh, pace goes up ben just uh, a tiny little bit, it actually helps the uh, shot making of um, Ginting. Gosh, that was well judged, wasn't it? That wasn't long by much. There's the quick follow-up that you were alluding to during the opening game. Absolutely delightful way to get to the mid-game interval. And a three-point advantage on a run of four straight points. 11-8, the advantage to Ginty. 
じゃないとフランス選手だったり勝ってたりすごいかわいいで何回かちょっとクリアとかもったりさあじゃあこれもう一回ねスタートいってみて追いつけます分かれて相手プッシュかけて最初スタートがなこれは、ラブエイト。これは、スニーアーマーが必要です。これは、スニーアーマーが必要です。これは、スニーアーマーが必要です。これは、スニーアーマーが必要です。これは、スニーアーマーが Sent the wrong direction initially. Suni Yama didn't have the power to push off and change direction. Left stranded. Basically scoring at will now. Um, Ginting just raising his uh, shot quality a little bit. I'm surprised that Suniyama hasn't tried to build the rallies more. Yeah. Like, like that in the last rally, I felt he was going for the winner too early on in the rally. Yeah. So it's over. 11-14. Also plays with the drift, so he's got problems playing the back court with accuracy. But we saw that for um, Zhao Zhongpeng earlier on in today's program. It actually worked against Li Chengyu from uh, Hong Kong, even though Zhao ended up losing the match. Oi, what happened there? I think he dropped his racket. Turn 14. That's very difficult to return it. <laughs> Here we go. Up he jumps. Yep. yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, it shows that he has a loose grip when he's <laughs> playing. <laughs> Thank you. And all the coaches keep telling us to have a, exactly. a soft grip. Exactly. Back in court that you were talking about. Yeah, and I think Ginting looked different there when he was receiving that service. More focused or more yes. positive or yeah, what? More focused. The, the, um, the sort of um, uh, the focus that you don't have to. Oh, that's a beauty. You don't have to tell yourself be focused. When you have to tell yourself be focused, it's very hard to be really focused. It's yeah. It just comes from inside. Let's see if he can maintain it. Oh, that's a beauty. 
Johnson. Comes over. 16, 13. Well, I lost count, but that's at least three or four beautiful backhands yeah. hinting, especially these cross court. Look at that. How does he make that look so silky smooth? Mm -hmm. So it's over. 14, 18. Kick wide, please. Kick wide. Yeah, thank you. Well done, good. Play. from Sunyama. Thought it could rally. Mistakes. Longest rally so far. I'm not surprised at that. 27 shots, which is not particularly long. You know, I, and yeah. I wonder what what Sunyama's plan is. What's he trying to do? Oops. Uh, apart from that win he got over uh, Ginting in Japan Open, Tsuyama, he hasn't beaten anyone from top 70 in the world since Asia Championships. That's worrying. That's very worrying. Asia Championships were April 16, 19. Yes, they were. Mm. First time he's Game played five, a winner 16. with that particular shot. But that has earned him four game point opportunities. So it's over. First one is squandered. 17, 20. He guessed the straight smash, Suniyama. And then to block it across court. Watch how he he takes his chances, his move, before the smash has even been played to look for the straight one. Hey, up, say up. 
Two game points well saved by Suniyama. Short. This time, Ginting converts on his third game point opportunity. He sends this first round match to a third and deciding game. 21-18. Umpire confirms 21-18. The scoreline in the second game. And one game apiece. Good one, twenty seconds. Good one, twenty seconds. Final game. Love all. So third and deciding game for the first time in the eighth meeting between these two men. He's going the full distance. Oh, that's a magnificent smash. One low. Well left. Go, love. What's Suniyama got to do here? Crikey, it really was close, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I think he needs to up the pace and uh, use the full court. But um, most likely, Ginting will also be uh, ready to work a little bit harder here and go for the attack. Oh, he guessed correctly he guessed again. again. It's amazing yeah. from Suniyama. So it's over. And that's one of one, the, uh, two, the keys for Suniyama to get Ginting a little bit off balance. And it becomes difficult to control the uh, yeah, the wise drift, even if it was on the side that uh, he made an error here. I, I just wonder, uh, I'm beginning to question whether he's capable of playing uh, fast enough uh, Suniyama and with enough quality. Steam that I had those question marks right from the start of the match whether Suniyama could yeah. play at the pace required. Oh, 
and that big. That's Four, sort of a one. walk in the park, Riley. For uh, Ginting there. Try Goal. because Suniyama was back pedaling. Watch Suniyama. Yeah, he yeah. was playing it with a little deception. Hinting. And it sent this man the wrong way. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the situation we saw Lee Chuk Yu miss a couple Five. of shots Goal. before. In his match previously today, where I have a theory that if the shuttle comes up over the blue wall there, a bit of sideways drift kicks in. It's so still a theory. If the lift or the clear is high the enough. Yeah. Well, if, it, if it comes up above the blue wall that we can see there up in, in um, yeah. level Thank with you. the spectators, I think there's a bit of sideways drift um, and going right to front, left. Right to left. As that, that sort of disrupts the timing of uh, mm. the shots where the shuttle uh, sort of drops down from uh, high above. Yosuke Nakanishi, Japanese coach. He knows it. Six, that could be costly. So we saw that. Three, six. Turn of serve. Side spinning neck chop forced the short left. And then the relatively easy put of Zoe did hop hit the top of the tape. It's over. Full seven. The drift Four. finds the back line. Amazing. Thank you. He looked down at the line twice, Suniyama. Yeah. Oh, that was well in. Well inside the back line. Wow. That's that's surprising uh, that he leaves one that's so far in. Thank you very much. There was almost a little skip of celebration after that rally from Suniyama. And he still believes. And so he should. Yeah, three points in it. So. I just feel that that um, sort of 
Ginting has showed a bit more potential in terms of Six, the ability eight. to win this. And he managed to kick it up here. But it's also something that's noticeable that, that he's not able to play his normal style here um, playing with the drift. He's normally one of the very best players in the world playing with the drift because he's so speedy. But he's pushed that one wide. And Sunyama right back in this. And Suniyama back level, four straight points. 50 minutes into the match, one game all, and eight all. After a good rally, on support mopped eight. the perspiration. I'm sitting wondering how it affects um, Sunyama and Nishimoto practicing with Kurai Naroka in the uh, Japanese team in terms of shot quality and um, attacking uh, accuracy and so on. And I think that it actually could be um, a problem for their game that unless they have absolutely perfect shot quality and, and attack placement then it becomes a little bit irrelevant the um, the shot quality because now it gets so much back yeah and they get drawn into his style of play yes and and not wanting to hit winners not because wanting because to it will skills. be detrimental in that situation because that will play it into the hands of naroka what works against a lot of other players what doesn't work against him so, so yeah. nine or that's very interesting indeed Working hard, Yusuke Nakanishi. Trying to cheers player on. Six of the last seven points to Suniyama. Yeah. Oh, oh, seven nine, of the last eight points. Changes. And to the mid game interval. And from a 4 8 deficit, Suniyama changes ends with a two point advantage. What a great comeback. Yeah, come on, yeah. Okay. 
Well, both players agreed to change the shuttle. So 11-9, the advantage to come to Suniyama. Over. 10, 11. Yeah, Suniyama needs to think about the drift. He's hitting with the drift now. Yeah, it was a good placement of the smash from the Japanese player. Nine of the last eleven points now to Suriyama. Thank you. That was a great angle to see the shot from uh, Ginting in there. Gave a good view of how difficult it is to see whether it's uh, straight or across. And what type of shot it is. The uh, short. So it's over. 14, 11. Say points, say points, eh? Scuffed up there, oh. Next point, yeah, come on. I'm going to go to the other side. Oh, that's so good again. You've got to hand it to Suniyama because 15, since that 4 left. 8 deficit, he's really taken these rallies to his opponent. Yeah. Much more proactive. I think he's setting. So it's over. 12, 15. I think we're still going to Short. Yeah. Thirteen, fifteen. I like that from Suniyama. That back and so cross court over. net shot. Just more of a guided shot, wasn't it? But it key, I think, taking it early. Yeah. 
a few uh, opportunities. Thank you. He apologizes for the good fortune. Good sportsmanship. Wonderful so smooth so movements 14, to the round the head 17. position from Anthony Ginting. Just take a look at this. Moves from the forehand net right behind the shuttle by the time he hits that smash. He's hit the smash, his body movement is coming forward again. Watch this. Tony he's got no clue as to where that is no. placed. No. Upping the pace here, Ginty. Two points the deficit. Well, Tony Yama had a neck cord just a moment ago. Now the neck cord is in favour of Ginting. And that's what you call perfection. The armor. Beautiful disguise. Both players moving the other from corner to corner, front to back. And what a glorious drop shot to end the rally. The previous place. Thank you. Okay. Thank Was just wide, wide by a whisker. He thought about challenging, but he knows it was wide. Good call, line judge. Very good call. So 1916, two points away. Suniyama from beating the number two seed. Going wide. Oh, no, it's came back in. You're right about the drift, Steve. The right. sideways drift. Yeah, I thought it was that way. That's what it was helping it out that way, but I don't think it's probably been high enough to uh, get caught. I was convinced that was going wide. It seemed to hold up. Landed on the line.
smash from Sunyama, and he's on the verge so of victory. Over. 20, match point 17. Three match point opportunities for Kanta Sunyama. <laughs> That's a great head shot, short left, and Kanta Sunayama has beaten the former champion Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. In three thrilling games, he did awfully well because he came from 4-8 adrift in this deciding game before winning the decider 21-17 in a match lasting an hour and five minutes. 21-11, 18-21, 21-17. Well, huge credit to Sunyama, uh, but totally understandable that Anthony Ginting not yet back to his best form. So through to the second round, Sunyama, and he will play against Li Chek Yun of Hong Kong, China, in the second round tomorrow. Confirmation once again of that scoreline, 21-11, 18-21, 21-17 in the deciding game in an hour and five minutes.